This movie is apparently a part of the YRF spy universe. I never heard of that before, but I had an amazing time with this movie. Hello, welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm yours, Khalil Ward. On this episode, I'm going to be talking about, I'm probably going to mispronounce the movie, Python. It's an Indian Hindi language action spy thriller adventure. Off the back, it reminded me of RRR. If you watch RRR, you're probably going to like this. Uh, it just has that energy. The music is, is loud. It, all the characters are really good. A little bit over the top. Um, this one is more action focused um, and it's not as emotional as the story was in RRR. This felt more like like 007, Skyfall, um, Mission Impossible, Fast and Furious in terms of like the stunts they were doing at different times. And I was just in for it. It's like two hours and 25 minutes and I was loving it all. Um, in terms of the story, the Indian government revokes this thing called Article 370 and this general is watching it on the news and he's upset about it. So he hires this guy named Jim, who's a part of this private terrorist organization to get vengeance against India. We don't get much from Jim at that moment, but we know he's the big bad guy and he's probably really good at what he does. Um, then we meet the hero, Python, and he's not in good shape when we meet him. He's actually being captured and tortured by some people. However, one of the bad guys notices him like, oh, I know who you are. Like, why are you alive? And it just gets crazy. Like, it's a fight sequence and he is kicking butt like we've seen before, but it's really stylish. The music is thumping. You know, he do he's doing his hero poses and, you know, his one liners. And it just just makes you feel good. And I was just having a blast. He does some stunts in this particular sequence where he knocks a guy out the window, but he slides down a helicopter propeller right after that. And it's like, oh, it's this type of movie and I'm going to have fun with it. Uh, the movie does do like some time jumps forward and backward. After we see this, we get more information about Python. It takes us to a flashback and it's basically his boss telling one other person like what happened with Python and how he ended up in that situation. And that's where we meet other characters. We get more time with Jim. Um, Python starts this organization for injured agents who were forced to retire because of like trauma. And he like comes up with this idea like, you know, they can still work and I want to help them, you know, help others. So his first task is dealing with Jim and his terrorist organization. He doesn't know Jim at this time. And when he comes across him, Jim is like, I used to be you. I was the top agent. So Jim is, this is where the, the Skyfall vibes come in. Jim was a former agent and the agency didn't look out for him and his family. So he kind of like faked his death and he's back to take vengeance. And when they go at it, it's crazy. They, it's a car chase. It's them fighting on top of a truck. It's them connecting helicopters and going at it. And it's like, it's short. But it's really intense and it's cool and neither one really has the upper hand but you know that they're both they're both really good at what they do and it's like a good time and we also meet another character her name is uh Rub rubana i believe she's a doctor but she's also an agent for some other agency and she's kind of like playing both sides with jim and python and at one point she starts working with python to discover this it's this device that Jim is looking for and they have to go steal it and we spend a lot of time with them and you know seeing how their relationship works uh, when we get back to present day it's basically Python versus Jim and he created this weapon that he wants to use on you know India and everything to get his revenge it's it's intense um Ru Rubana reminds me of uh, Rebecca Ferguson's character in Mission Impossible you know when Tom Cruise meets her it's like Okay, she's really good at what she does, but can I trust her? So it's like that type of relationship, that type of dyna dynamic, but everybody, it's, it's so much fun. Like in the, I saw it in IMAX, so in the theater, it's just like, it's, it's loud, but the, the fighting and the action, again, a little bit over the top from the those type of movies that I named, but it's a lot of fun. Again, if you've seen RRR, watch RRR, and then you're gonna have a better understanding going into this, like what you're gonna see. There's the dance sequence is not as good as RRR, but it's like a, a music video being shot in the movie. 
while the movie is going on it it's crazy but the song is good and it's like it, it works to push the story forward and it's just like it's a good time it's a music sequence at the end of the movie with all the characters and that's a good time so python i'm probably saying it wrong go check it out in the theater if you can because i had a blast and i'm pretty sure you have a blast um those are just my thoughts if you've seen the movie let me know what you thought about it thanks for watching thanks for listening deuces <laughs>